Finding Books on the Library Shelf. To find a book on the shelf in the library, you'll need to find some details about the book first. From the library's website, you can use the Sophia Discovery tool to locate your book. Here are the results of a search using the Sophia Discovery tool for Tony Diafel's book, Seen Beyond Sight, Photographs by Blind Teenagers. All of the details you'll need to find this book on the library shelf can be found here. The availability, the location, and the call number. If it were signed out by someone else, you would see the date it is due to be returned. To find out what floor the book is located on and view the approximate location in the stacks, click the Locate button to view the map. In this example, the location of the book is on the fifth floor of the Webster Library. A red arrow shows the approximate location of the book in the stacks. If the book was located at the Vanier Library, you'd see Vanier and the appropriate floor number. The call number for Seen Beyond Sight is TR655D43-2007. Call numbers are physical addresses that help us organize our collection by subject and to find specific books on the shelves. Each book has its own unique call number, and sometimes they can get complicated to read. Like books, the stacks in the library are also arranged by call number. As call numbers are often very long, we have to break them down into separate lines when we put them on the spines of books. Call numbers start with one or two letters, which can be read alphabetically. So a call number that starts with N comes before one that starts with P. A call number that starts with NA comes before NB, but after N. After the letters comes numbers, which are read as whole numbers. So N740 is after N10 and before N6559. Sometimes you'll find call numbers with decimals in them. In these cases, you'll have to read any numbers coming after the decimal point as single digit numbers. For instance, 0.915 is 915, not 915. So 0.915 comes before 0.92. Then there will be another letter and number, which you will read alphabetically and as single digit numbers. B comes before C and B79 comes before B8. Finally, there is a year of publication which is read as a whole number. Now that you know how call numbers work, let's go find our book. Here's the fifth floor of the Webster Library. There are signs on each floor that will point you in the general direction of the library bookshelves. At the end of each row of library shelving, you'll see a sign that gives a range of call numbers. This range tells you what books are shelved here. The call number of the book we're looking for is TR 655 D43 2007. This call number fits in between the range of call numbers on this row of books. TR 642 to TS 155. We should find our book somewhere in this aisle. We just need to go down the shelf to TR 655 then D43, and here's our book. If you can't find a book that is supposed to be on a shelf, look for nearby sorting shelves and book carts where you can find books waiting to be reshelved. Books may also be on nearby tables, photocopiers, or scanning stations, as people sometimes just use books in the library without checking them out. You can also call us or use live chat if you get stuck at any point in your research. There's an actual librarian on the other side to answer your questions. Some of our databases even have a library chat window on the search results page so you can get help right away. Remember, no matter what your question is, the library staff are always here to help you with your research skills and needs.